Hello and welcome back to iStorm TV and in this episode I am talking to Nikki Chisholm who is one of the two founders of the Mumpreneurs Networking Club and we are going to talk about challenging yourself. What happens when you step out of your comfort zone? Why is that important? Should we actually be doing that? Is it good to pressure yourself outside your comfort zone? Well Nikki is someone who has really stepped into some great adventures for many many years so I want to ask Nikki, what happens when you challenge yourself as stepping out of your comfort zone? Nikki Chisholm. Good morning. Good morning, Nikki. Oh, we don't say good morning. Or is it supposed yes, to be evergreen? Fine. Okay. It's evergreen, but let's have a good morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning. Thank you for coming in and having a little chat to me. So, Nikki, you are the one of the founders of the Mumpreneurs Networking Club. I am indeed. Yeah. I'm one of the co-founders with Sarah Guile. Um, we've been running it for 10 years now together, um, and we make a really good team. You do indeed. And you had an incredible impact on my career from when I started as a single mom with a little baby and trying to set up my business. Um, I remember. I remember meeting you for the very first time, what, 14, 14 years ago? Not that long. God, <laughs> 13 years ago. Let's, let's call it 10. 12. Okay, so we'll, we'll meet <laughs> in the middle. I remember, yeah, a long time ago. We've both come a very long way since yeah, then, which is a good thing. Absolutely brilliant. And you've been there and you really understand the importance of support for, especially mums. Obviously, uh, the mumpreneur terms is a little bit of mum right, isn't it? Tell me about that. Do you know what? I absolutely love it because it's something that, it's one of those terms that polarises people. You either love it or you hate it just like mum. And, that, and that's why it's a great description for us but for us it's what it does what it says on the tin it's you're a mumpreneur you work from home um, you're running your business around your family um, and you have particular um, um, problems or solutions that you're looking for because you are running a, around a family so you you have a nine till three day you have inset days you have uh, two months um, holidays how do you run that networking meetings are normally in the morning and after work when you can't um, when you can't attend them so there are particular issues that are out that are applicable to mums and dads that are running their own businesses and that's how we came in that was our unique selling point they were the people that we were reaching out to um, and saying, look, we've got the solution for you um, and be part of it. And also the term mumpreneur is a, it's a fantastic filter mechanism. Um, online, it's about finding the people that, it's about finding your tribe. It's an easy way to find your tribe. Everyone looks for like-minded people. Everyone wants people that think the same of you, have the same problems, can find solutions. Um, it's not a term that you have on your business card. It's not on your LinkedIn profile. It's not in my pitch when I deliver it at a networking meeting. It's a behind the scenes support mechanism um, that works. With you, you are very much about stretching further. And I know that you're encouraging the mumpreneurs members to do that as well. Why is that so important, Nick? And I know you love this subject. I, you, you are doing the most crazy things. Of all the people I know, you are. Tell us a few of the things you've done. I have. I was actually thinking about this on the way because I knew you, I knew you were going to ask me about this topic. It's a topic I absolutely love. I love pushing myself in business and I love pushing myself outside of business. I started my first adventure 17 years ago. No, no, when I was 17, um, and I did um, a week on a, um, a tall ship. So it's um, okay, yeah, a yeah. three-masted schooner, and we um, travelled around um, the um, English Channel. And I was 17, and that was my first taste of adventure, and that ignited my flames for the future. But since then, I've done... Um, I've done, I think, eight marathons walking, Hadrian's Wall Marathon this year, Firewalk, Abseiling, um, down Arundel Castle. Um, what did you do last? Oh, the last, the wing walk. The wing walk was amazing. So Sarah and I uh, raised money with a team of 11 for Safe in Sussex and Kangaroos, and we were strapped to the top of um, a biplane. And we went 130 miles an hour strapped to the top of an aeroplane. And it's always something that I wanted to do because back in the day, um, they had the Utterly Butterly Girls um, and they were like um, on TV as an advert. And I always thought, I want some of that. Um, and when I saw the opportunity come up, I didn't even, I just signed myself up straight away. I signed Sarah up straight away. And I also did that when I did the Arctic Challenge. I did a cross country um, 
marathon um, in the Arctic Circle a couple of years ago, and I read the first three words, cross country Arctic marathon, that's four. I didn't read anything else, I just signed myself up. I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. And I don't know why, but I just did it and I loved it. So I've done tons and tons and tons, but what I have noticed over the years, Sarah and I try and do um, a charity event every year and they have got more and more, um, what, what could be the word, uh, bonkers or more and more, um, you need, it's that more and more outside your comfort yeah. zone. But a great message behind that is I started when I was 17. So I've practiced my mindset, my physicality, my limits. I'm pushed and pushed. I've been doing it for 20 years. So I don't just say, right, OK, I'm going to do a cross country ski marathon um, and I do all the training for it. It took me a year to get to that stage you to do, do it and do train before, a lot. Yeah. The wing walking was a perfect example of that. It took me 65 hours of training to lose the two stone, to get on the aeroplane, to raise the money for the charity. So it was a personal like journey for me. Um, so I was fit and I was healthy, I was really strong. And mentally I'm really strong, but I've had so much practice. Um, to, to get to that stage and um, and you don't just do those things and people say well, how, did you just do it? I'm like no I've been doing this kind of thing since mm. I was 17. Mm. So it takes a long time. Yeah. So within the comfort zone we are comfortable but we also we remain stagnant don't we? We can continue like that and nothing is going to advance for us really. Is that true or...? I is... think that's totally true. And I see it all the time in the mumpreneur community. So that it's businesswomen um, and they get in their own way. I look, at, I look around and I, I know people and we chat and I meet the networking and I think, I look at them and I think, you're so capable and you're so capable of so much more. What's stopping you? So then look into your, is it fear? Is it embarrassment? Is it um, money, health, family, friends, support? What is stopping you? Move yourself forward. You've got to do baby steps along the way. And every time you go out of your comfort zone, your comfort zone um, gets bigger and, you're, and then you're able to challenge yourself more. And what stops a lot of people, they're, they're doing an activity, doing an event or setting themselves a challenge and maybe they fail, but what they don't take into account and they don't bank is the steps that they've taken forward to think, right, well, I, I've got much further than I've ever done before. That's my point of reference, not the fact that I didn't complete my task, my run, my workshop, it didn't fill up and sell bums on seats. I've learned so much more. So bank the, that space that you've made for yourself, bank those steps that you've made forward. Then the next time you're there, you're building up like a battery of, or a, a toolbox of reserves. So every time you're doing it, you're taking a step forward. So bank absolutely everything. I think that's a, a massive message. So don't worry about the, the goal, don't worry about the end result. Look at the steps that you've taken to get there um, and um, be super chuffed because you've been outside your comfort zone. And the more you operate outside your comfort zone, it's like a muscle. You're, you know that you can do it. You think, right, okay, I've done that. Um, I, it made me nervous, it made me scared, it made me upset, it made me worried. But the next time you do that, you can do that plus a little bit more. Mm. I love challenging myself and I don't know why and I know that's one of the questions that you're going to ask but I, I do love doing it it lights my fire mm. it lights my fire and I think Sarah and I know as well we're very visible leaders of our community I'm a real believer if I need to show by example if I'm doing something I know that it inspires other people to do it and I'm not saying get yourself on top of an airplane but I am saying look how difficult it is for us you my journey was um out online it was it was hard it was boring it was long it was over a long period but i stuck to it and i think people think if she can do it i can do something so it's inspiring them to take um a, a little step in the right direction and we sarah and i have always believed in le leading by example so if we're hanging off Arundel Castle Tower, where Sarah's legs are so short she couldn't reach the tower, <laughs> but she still did it and she completely loved it. Or whether or not... Did she actually get... She did love, love it. it, she did love it, she did love it. Uh, or whether or not we were fire walking, we took a team of mumpreneurs and we were fire walking. So you're asked to walk barefoot mm. across coals. Um, and again, it's mostly, it's not so much about your physicality, it's always about your mind. Yeah. Can your mind get you where you need to be? Can your mind get you through it? You're having a bad day, what do you need to do? What happens in that space when you step outside the comfort zone, even if it's a small step? 
there's bound to be a chemical reaction in there in your brain like we're talking it's, it is end, it's, it was what endorphins, endorphins. It releases... it's adrenaline it's a, a, a bundle of hormones and chemical reactions in the brain that actually makes us feel better Good. There was a moment when I was um, out in the Arctic Circle and I particularly took a photo of selfie because I remember a moment I thought I want to capture this for the rest of my life. I was the furthest north I've ever been. It was minus 30, so it was the coldest I've ever been. It was the most, it was the longest period of time I've been away from my home and my partner um, left the business with Sarah. Um, I'd never been there before and I had no point of reference for, for what I was doing. Um, I took a photograph and I was the happiest I think of ever been ever it was just a real moment of clarity it was like you're okay you're gonna love this and I, I just felt a real fire if I can get you the photograph it's a real basic photograph but it just captured that moment for me I for the rest it. of my life yeah. yeah and I loved it and it does it definitely lights a fire in you um and that fire stays there. Sometimes it dampens down because you're dealing with kids and school and work, but it seems to always be there. And, and then it's really nice to get the opportunity to fan the fire. Like I'm talking now and I, can, I feel the fire being fanned going, <laughs> Wee! what can I do next? <laughs> and we've got to show this photo that you have and tell us the story behind this photo. What, what is happening here? This is a photograph of me that means the world. And when I came back from um, doing the cross country ski marathon, I had this in my office, so every day, um, I, if I'm having a bad day, I can say, Nikki, look at you, you're on the start line of a cross-country ski marathon, it's minus 30, you're freezing cold, and I remember having tears just dripping down my cheeks, frozen and trembling, down cheeks. <laughs> frozen down my cheeks, and trembling, because I was, it was partly nerves, partly fear, mm -hmm. adrenaline, everything, and I just remember sh literally, sh literally sh powerful, shaking like that, thinking, I've got to move, because I'm shaking so badly. And I just remember thinking, what an adventure is in front of me. So it took me a year to get to that particular place. I mean, it took, it's taken me, what, 20, 19 years to build up the confidence to do it, then to get to that place, then to be on the start line, and then think right in front of me is a marathon. And as it was, it took 18 hours of cross-country skiing. It was freezing cold. Um, I absolutely loved it. Now, for the ladies who are watching who are in business and starting up business and need to push into the unknown uh, beyond Step their comfort Step into your zone. space, ladies. <laughs> what advice do you have for them? I've got definitely got three bits of advice and mine is always about pushing yourself forward, pushing you and your business forward. So my first one, I bought my little prop. All the people that we work with on our mastermind groups, now Accelerate program, it's a little tank. You need to think about being a little pink tank every single day so you're moving your business forward you're moving you forward so even when you're having a bad day you're sending an email you're making a phone call you're posting something on social media so something small that's 365 days a year i mean yes you can schedule some of these things but it's moving your business yeah. forward all the time you get times when business is hard when curveballs come your way family curveballs come your way people let you down um it, it happens to all of us all the time um but think about being a little pink tank and if anyone can help me get a life-size pink tank i would like to drive it down um to the bank of england uh, and make a statement about female entrepreneurship in the uk so if anyone out there can help me find a big one of these i will be utterly delighted that's Never my challenge to you ladies <laughs> we'll, um, we'll get a tank we'll buy one from <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> um, my second one is I absolutely know that um, a majority of the people that I meet, um, you are much more capable than you are. Don't get in your own way. Don't stop fear um, of trying something new. Don't stop um, yourself thinking, well, I'm going to fail. What am I going to do? Take, listen to what I said earlier about one step forward, um, step into that space, bank all the little steps, bank the spaces that you've then taken yourself into because every single little thing is taking you outside of your comfort zone and will enable you to have a point of reference to step mm -hmm. forward the next time. And then always my favourite one is always be brave. Be brave if you can't be brave on your own. Find somebody to be brave with. Be brave with your business partner. Be brave with your friends. Be brave with your colleagues because you just never know what you are capable of. And 
it, it, honestly, it lights your fire. Um, other people get in, inspired by you. And also you're creating great content and great energy. And people are thinking, look at that um, amazing woman. Look at what she's doing in business. You're leading the way. You're becoming the expert in your field and you'll be on vis being visible. If you are being visible, then your business is being visible. And that is what we're all about. I can't say fairer than that. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Nikki. Oh, I can talk all day. I love it. We can continue. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm going to stop the camera. Okay. And we look forward to the delivery of your pink life tank. size tank. Come on, girls. I need, I need <laughs> a hammer this one. Make this happen. And then you're going to drive up to the Bank of England. Yeah. Nikki, thank you again for coming in and thank you for the great advice for the ladies. Keep pushing your boundaries and I look forward to seeing you in your great big, big, big tank. tank. Over and out, ladies. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.